All right, welcome back to this video. We're talking about how to secure your Amazon Identity and Access Management infrastructure using Centrify as the identity provider and Active Directory as the identity sources. So um, we already have created uh, a template. Um, use the Centrify provided template for SAML and provisioning. And in the previous uh, video, we also created an IDP, a SAML IDP. Uh, very simple. All we needed to do was to update the metadata provided by Centrify. So now we're going to deal with roles, right? So uh, based on the use case that I created, I'm going to create three roles. And we're going to create a role. And the first one is Amazon EC2 uh, admins because I want, um, you know, I want to be able to give full access to EC2 instances to a group of users. So uh, I'm going to use it for an identity provider. I'm going to select a web SSO via SAML. I'm going to pick the only identity provider that I have, and I'm going to click Next. Then I'm going to verify that the role trust is fine. If you know what you're doing, you're going to modify this as well. And in here, I'm going to just do EC2 so I can basically tie uh, the um, the policy that I want. So Amazon EC2 full access will be the one that uh, the first one that I'm that I'm going to be going to be able to create, right? So this one um, uh, is being created as we speak, and the next one is going to give me the same thing but read only. So read only access. This is uh, for somebody that needs to log, just basically log in and see the status of the services and everything. So the policy that I'm going to tie to this one is going to be uh, read only. So there is uh, several read-only. So this here it is, read-only access for EC2. And then the next one is going to be uh, for IIM. So this is Amazon EC2 IIM. So um, these are going to be the people who are going to approve uh, certain things uh, when I do the, the approvals. So... Um, so I am full access, and there you go. So I've created my roles in um, in EC2. There's got to be corresponding roles in the Centrify Identity Service. So the same thing, and uh, for example, for uh, EC2 admins, I agreed that I was going to use an Active Directory group, and I already have it. So Amazon EC2 admins is going to be, uh, in this case, I have Lisa as a user. The, the members of that group are going to have EC2 admin permanently. So all I need to do is go to roles, and I'm going to add a role. And this, this is really important. So the name has to match. Uh, the name of the role has to match the, the, the role in AWS. Why? Because during the assertion uh, submission, this is going to be the role that is going to be submitted. So um, in here, basically, it, we're, we're looking um, anything that matches AWS. So I see uh, AWS. <clears throat> and notice that I have all these uh, groups in AD already created. So uh, this is going to be the one for this. And uh, I'm going to press Save. And I'm going to repeat the same process for others. So the read-only one, I'm gonna, because this is going to be on demand, um, I'm just not going to add any members. So Amazon AWS read-only. Let's see. Let me just uh, make sure that I'm copying uh, this exactly the same way. All right. So, um, and I'm not, not going to add any members. So the key here is that your roles have to in AWS have to match the roles that you create in CIS because there's part of the assertion that is submitted between the identity provider or I'm um, sorry the service provider which is AWS and uh, the identity provider as well, which is uh, um, it's going to be uh, CIS. So in the next video we're going to do verification and we're going to go from there.